Hello, everybody. Today, I'm being accompanied by Mr. Duck to talk about fantasy. Number one, Lord of the Rings. So, we are talking about Lord of the Rings when it comes to fantasy. So, um, I think that Lord of the Rings does um, one of the biggest parts, if not the biggest part, in fantasy books it, slash movies in general. And yeah. it really, like, sparked a lot of people's imaginations for the fantasy world and, like... Middle Earth really does a big part there. Yeah, I I like the I like the Hobbit part. I like when they duel to the death with Smaug. Yeah, Sma- Smaug. I like the name of Smaug. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. So. Yeah, that's cool. Yay! You, you can't get any better than a big red dragon trying to burn down a bil- a village that it's, lives in. Who Holland. knew that a simple concept of a Hobbit. A Gandalf and a couple dwarves going on an adventure would be so epic. Masterpiece. The lo- Middle can- Earth is a masterpiece in overall. Okay, next up, um, we have something that we have not decided yet. So, yeah, that's fun. And the next one is Harry Potter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, Harry I Potter. think... I think yeah, Harry Lord Pot- of the Rings is better than Harry Potter. Yeah, though. in my opinion, I love Harry Potter. I finished all the books, but Harry Potter is terribly overrated. And, and well, YouTube creators t- really ruined Harry Potter. Because, like, there's all these, like, Harry Potter sims that are like, Oh my, like, Hogwarts check with Bestie! <laughs> and, like... And, like, who is your Hogwarts crush? <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, really b- bad. Overall, I really like the concept of Harry Potter, and no offense to J.K. Rowling, but I, re- I really love Harry Potter and the concept and Gryffindor, Slytherin. The war is just take, just took me over, but it's overrated, and it's terrible that... That's that Harry Potter is overrated because it's a great storyline, but but then there's the YouTube shorts creators who are like, oh my god, are like who like like just pretending to be like bad girls like Slytherin. I'm a Slytherin. Oh my god, I'm gonna make out with Draco Malfoy. As well, yeah, as- literally, Bo Burnham literally states Harry Potter characters like <laughs> kissing each other in like one of his songs, "Welcome to the Internet." As well as the buy to play video games that you just have to spend, keep on yeah. spending money on, and then and, and then just like just spam play, and then well, you're done. It's like you're and, and, so and, then, and then you and, wallet, and then so. and then you just finish it in, in like a couple of hours, and then you're like, and then it seems like all of that money goes to waste. Yeah, you just finish it within four minutes, and then you just get too carried away, and you have no money, and then like, everything is over. Yes. And stuff like that. It's really crappy. It's... Star Trek, um, and Star Wars. Well, well, most people would be saying this isn't really fantasy, it's sci-fi, but really, there's like, yeah, space, really, ninjas yeah, space ninjas. space ninjas. That sci-fi, um, like, science fiction, but it's not really... It's, it's, I mean, it's kind of not science. It's just, like, a, an entire universe that could be existing, but we don't know about it yet. It's a really good concept. Um, but Star Trek is terribly, terribly underrated compared to Star Wars. That thing is, like, that one sock that you never touch in your corner of your closet. The one sock that just <laughs> slipped underneath your closet after a month of owning it. Yeah, and th- and then when you finally find it, the cockroaches have taken it over. <laughs> the cockroaches. But, yeah, Star Wars is more overrated than Star Trek. Nobody really cares about Star Trek because Star because people are like, oh, Luke Skywalker's so better, like Han Solo, um, stuff like that. I don't know if you heard of this, but it's called The Death Trooper. It came out like a while ago. It's a book and Roger Roger. Um mm. they they really just a lot of their ideas aren't that good because uh like they're grabbed for cash a lot of the books because that one yes. The Death Trooper was a zombie thing. They just released it not because it's his passion and stuff, because they released it during the time where there was a gold rush for zombies like The Walking Dead and all those different movies. But really, the, 
it it's just not good. But when you pair zombies with Star Trek, I think it's looks good because that's what they do. They, yeah, that's what people want. People want all this action, but Star Trek is like it has that action, but Star Wars is like, hey, we're gonna take this and we're gonna add more action to it, so people are gonna like it better. Yeah, that's the, what people are gonna like. It's like Star Wars should stick to action more. Star Tra- Star- no, so, 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 and, so you're saying that Star Trek should stick to sci-fi and yeah, no, Star Wars should more, stick to action. It's like, it's more like no, I yesterday I watched that scene in Empire Strikes Back where Darth Vader literally cuts off Luke Skywalker's hand, um, and then and yeah. like that's what people want. People want the action and the gore, and then Star Trek is just like. Like, hey, aliens and stuff. Yeah, Star Trek's not really a fire and kill. It's yeah, it's more not like it's not like murder or just it, like mystery. It's time, more of time. a let's solve the problem type. Rather of show. than let's get into the problem right away by physically harming ourselves. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's gonna be it. Yes. Wizard of Oz, the oldest of the bunch. It was actually the first movie in color, and it, for as old as it is, that's very surprising. They didn't use a colored camera for it. So what did they do instead of the colored camera? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm uh, correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they took, like, uh, colors and stuff and painted over each frame. Each frame? That, that'll take a lot of frames. That's why it took forever to do it, basically. So so when did they start the movie? Uh, I'm not 100% sure when they started the movie, but I know... Like, they probably had to start the movie, like, at least two years earlier. Early 30s, probably, when they started the movie. But, but it was released in 1939, I'm pretty sure, yes. I think so, but... Yeah, but that's it takes around two years for an ordinary movie. But to paint each frame, I'd say about probably like 1935, 1936 when they started it. But basically, so in the movie... Yeah, now we have more like advanced technology where you just like copy and paste, copy and paste. In the movie, a lot of people actually, and you may be thinking, but I remember the movie being in black and white. That's because it started off in black and white, and that was intentional. They didn't uh, forget to paint that. It was intentional because in the book, they describe it as gray and plain. So they wanted to capture that. So they wanted to capture like, if it being like bland and nobody yeah, so, being happy. You know? So they did it in black and white. No. And, and so... Um, in the movie, she wakes up. It was just a fever dream the whole entire time, which is, I think it's kind of sad. But if you read the book, you'll know she actually doesn't wake up. She, it, all, all of this it's is like, real. I'm going to go to Wizard of Oz. Doo, 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 doo. And it's like, oh, it's like, like you just got just sent down from heaven. Yeah, she actually comes back in the book. And it wasn't all, all dr- real. Yeah, and then there's that awful Mickey Mouse Clubhouse reboot that they made. So what they did, what they did, they took the entire storyline for Wizard of Oz and then planted it into Mickey Mouse. Instead, instead of, yeah, instead of Dorothy and Toto, it was Minnie Mouse and Pluto, and then Goofy was the Scarecrow, Mickey was the Tin Man, and then Mr. Donald Screamy Guy was the, the Lion. Best character. Donald is the best character. Don- Cor- Donald is the best. Cor- Cor- no, no, you're only saying that because he's a duck. No, no, I, I actually do really like him. But yeah, correct I, me yeah. if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Phineas and Ferb actually did a Wizard of the. Oh, yeah, and, they did. And but- so did the Muppets. The Muppets did Oh, yeah, the Muppets too. did that. Um, It was the Wizard of Odd they did for Phineas and oh, Ferb. Oh, so... Um, Futurama did it. I don't know if you watched. I, no, I um I watched Futurama. I love Futurama, but I haven't watched like very many episodes. They have a Wizard of Oz episode. Awesome. Okay, I'll have to watch that. But for now, um, I think that this is going to conclude our video on fantasy. So, um, bye bye everyone, and bye bye. Um, soon enough we're gonna feature Mr. Duck, and maybe soon enough another video. And, but this time we maybe we can talk about sci-fi. Yeah, uh, that, that's probably yeah. Then we got E.T. and stuff like that. So bye. Right, bye.